half of our vaccines are very relevant to climate sensitive diseases. I mean, when floods strike in, in Pakistan, for example, or, uh, or anywhere else in the world, uh, waterborne diseases become more prevalent. Uh, the cholera vaccine becomes very relevant as a preventive measure. Uh, we maintain stockpiles of the cholera vaccine. So when floods strike, uh, mobilizing the cholera vaccine from our stockpile will actually help build resilience. Mm -hmm. I mean, t temperature changes are glaring in our face. And when temperature changes happen, vectors uh, start flourishing in places where they haven't flushed before. Uh, diseases like malaria and yellow fever become more uh, prevalent in, in areas th that have been free from these diseases. That's where uh, our stockpile of uh, the yellow fever vaccine becomes relevant. That's where the introduction of the new malaria vaccine becomes so relevant. So, so our work against climate sensitive diseases uh, is very relevant to the, to the climate change agenda.